Hey guys, Phil Swat here from Create Effects. I've got a quick tip for you today to show you how to take your tripod shot footage and just to give it a bit more of a handheld dynamic feel. To do this, we'll be taking a separate piece of footage which has been shot handheld and just to use the tracking information from this and apply that to your tripod shot footage. Right, so let's just jump into Nuke now and what I'll do is push tab and just type in tracker and we'll just select the tracker and plug that into the separate bit of footage which was shot handheld and I'm just going to select a nice feature now somewhere in the sort of mid area of the shot and what I'll do is I'll just track that for the sort of entire range I'll just track backwards first of all just let that do its thing and now we will go and track forward. Now there's just a bit of trial and error here for which feature you should be tracking in your shot as to how your final result will look. Right, so let's just wait for that to finish, okay. As you can see we have the full tracking information here for that. Okay, what I'll do is I will take my tracker and just plug that into the shot with the tri or the tripod shot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just click on the transform tab and just change it to match move. And now if we play through the shot, you can see how it has taken the tracking information from the other shot and applied that to the tripod shot. Now what will happen is it will be moving the plate around so you may get black edges around your shot as it's transforming it. So you can just see here at the bottom see how it's bringing up those black bars as it's moving the image up and down. Right, so what we want to do just to alleviate some of these problems is if you push tab and type in transform and just plug that in. What you can do now is just play with the scale and the positioning. and You can just scale that up just a little bit and literally just as much as you need and also play with the X and Y positioning. And just nudge that around and play through your shot until you don't have any of those black bars coming through. One other thing I forgot to say is if you go to your tracker and click on the transform tab and just go to your motion blur and just type one in there, this will turn on the motion blur for the tracking information so you get kind of a more realistic look to it. So here we have the final shot and you can see now how we've taken the sort of boring tripod shot and we've just added some nice handheld movement to the shot. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave your comments below and be sure to follow us on Twitter and the Facebook fan page. See you next time.